What's going on, guys? Welcome to the first episode of just kind of a little mini thing I'm doing. I don't know how many of these there are going to be, but this is the first one of whatever they are, and I'm calling it Talk About a Mess, because there are some things that I've neglected and forgot in reviews, and then some things I learned after the fact. Um, so to start off here uh, with Brainstorm, I did not know his Titan Master's name, um, or his headmaster's name, because this is the G1 Retro Reissue version. So the actual Titan Master uh, for this uh, first version of this figure's uh, name was Teslor, but this being a G1 Retro Reissue, the headmaster that came with it, this little guy, his name is Arcana. Arcana. However you want to pronounce it you win but it is one of those pronunciations i'm gonna call it arcana because that sounds like the root word arcane uh to me which is weird because it's like brainstorm makes me think of like a scientist and then arcana is like magic so either way that's that off the docket we'll go ahead and do this first i had this and i didn't put it in my video for Tigatron, but here's his box. You've got some nice artwork of the character in both modes. He's got his tail whip there. Looks really good. No sign of the embarrassing belly gun, as you can see. There you've got your Warfare Cybertron Kingdom poster image, basically. On the back, 23 steps, you've got Tigatron in both his modes. And you've got a little bio here. No, just manufactured by Hasbro. You got faked out. Yeah, there's no bio on these Kingdom boxes, I guess. So they're just not as premium as the Studio Series. And then there's the top. We'll flip it over. And War for Cybertron. You've got some imagery from the Golden Discs. And the only reason I know that is because they're actually based off of real-life discs that were sent with, I believe, the Voyager missions. And this symbol right here is actually a star map for civilizations to find Earth. That in the middle is where our home system is. And the lines point to the closest, I want to say, 13 pulsars. You could count them, and then you'd get an accurate number. Um, it's been a while since... I heard this factoid in the video I heard it from, but that's what that symbol is on the disc. And the reason it looks like vinyl is because it actually has sounds from Earth on it. And then you've got your safety standards and everything else again down here, which they did have some of which on this side. So, And that's his box. And then, last but not least, this is something my brother just uh, brought to my attention uh, a few days before I filmed this, which is going to be uh, about a half a week or more before it comes out. I'm filming it on a Friday, and it'll be out on a Wednesday. Just, uh, see, I just realized that in my video correcting mistakes, I made mistakes. He's not last but not least yet. Thing number three. In the video I'm releasing Saturday on Christmas for the holidays, I wanted to get a little Christmas hat and put it on the Ark or something like that. And I couldn't find a Christmas hat. And so it doesn't look very festive. And that's not the worst thing ever. But I also forgot to wish people happy holidays in the video. Whatever you celebrate, it could be Christmas, it could be Hanukkah, it could be Kwanzaa, it could be nothing. I want you guys to have a lovely end of December either way. All right. Fourth and final thing on the list. My brother showed me this. I think it's cool, but I'm never going to do anything with it. But if you uh, wanted to display your Ultra Magnus, Siege, Earthrise, or otherwise, and this is probably going to work with the Cybertron Optimus Prime as well, although um, if you put his arm guards on, the backpack is less egregious. Uh, if you don't like his butt plate, or backpack if you have it slid up like this if you don't like that on your figure and you're going to display it in this mode which why would you but i digress you can actually shove his chest all the way forward until it clicks rotate 
to expose both of these areas and shimmy this off. And now you've got a nice clean back on your figure for display purposes. And you can just put this bumper section in the bin or wherever you have the rest of the parts. Now this is not going to help you in Magnus mode because he's got a giant backpack already and the butt kind of helps fill that in. If you didn't have the butt on, you'd have this big old backpack and then just a freaking 90 degree angle of a, a chunk missing out of it. But if you wanted to store Ultra Magnus like this, maybe you got the Netflix Siege and the regular Siege and the Earthrise, so you got three versions of this exact thing from the front because, you know, there's minor differences. Um, or maybe you just want him to look like this because he's like a chunky white Optimus Prime and you don't want him to have a backpack or a butt flap. You can take the butt off. So thank you to my brother for that. He also is the one that uh, gave me the information about this guy's headmaster uh so i'm gonna thank him for that as well i think that about covers it for this video so we'll go ahead and see you guys friday for that review uh and again i hope you guys have a lovely end of december with whatever your beliefs and plans are see you next time